perfect now next is introduction to data types now why data types are important right now i'll tell you the reason if you remember to create a table in this sales database what is required at least one column and a data type correct you remember this to create a table uh -huh. there should be at yeah. least one column and data type that is very very important so to understand all the different types of data that we can add into the column so that is what we are going to learn okay different data type represents different types of information that can be contained in a specific column now the best part of the sql is if i am saying my column is a date column that i can only enter date fields into it it's a kind of data validation that i cannot add any other field into that particular column if my data type is numeric integer then i can only add numeric values into it i cannot add text into it if someone is trying to enter it will automatically give you an error that the data type is mismatch so it's a good thing and we do that while designing the database okay <clears throat> so now let's just see how many different data types do we have the first thing that we are going to talk about is string what is string characters okay for example surname of a person if i want to store first name and a last name what should be the data type of last name and first name string character character right but it's a string value right M. now one thing that we need to be very sure of is a length what is a length a measure used to indicate how many symbols a certain string has can you count how many characters this james have five five symbols and jackson seven seven, seven symbols now everything that you are going to write in a string data type it could be digits symbols or a blank spaces blank space means just a space between a word can also be used in the string format now they will only convey text information for example if i want to store this address u street 45 now still 45 is a number in here but it will be treated as a text now can you count how many symbols do we have in this u street 45 <clears throat> let's just do that 1 2 3 4 then there is a space that will also be counted as 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so how many symbols are there 14 symbols 14 now whatever data you are going to store is going to take some size right if you open up the excel file there those files belongs to some different sizes depending upon how much data do we have in that file correct so whatever you are going to store be it one number be it a name be it a address that is going to take some size some memory of the database or a physical storage now how to determine that uh, size very very simple the size is measured in bytes <clears throat> for string data types one symbol is equal to one byte okay now if you can tell me what will be the size of this james surname if i am going to store that how much size five it is bytes. going to take 5 bytes five. and jackson 7 bytes seven. simple so far yeah perfect the physical space in the computer's drive memory where the data is being saved or stored that is what storage meant now how many data types can we have in the string or in the characters let's just learn that <clears throat> the first one is going to be character now how do we write that in the sql by c h a r character yeah. now whenever you write character you have to specify how much storage you want to take the storage is fixed in here for example character 5 now what does this mean this means that if i am trying to write a word which is more than 5 bytes it will not allow me or you can say it will not allow me more than 5 symbols correct 5 represents the maximum number of symbols you are allowed to use in writing value in this format or in this particular column james will it go in that data type in that column yes and it is going to take how much size 5 bytes correct now next is bob what is what are the, how many symbols are there in bob 
but what will be the size of the box? Three bytes. Five bytes. Because for character, the storage is fixed. Whatever you putting in here, that is going to be the size for every word. Little bit strange, right? That should not happen. No, no, no. Uh, okay, okay. Means, uh, you mean to yeah, uh, sorry ahead. to interrupt. No, no, no problem. Uh, so when we are designing it, that time only we will be giving as an a uh, uh, size Correct. to that particular character is equals mm -hmm. to the field name, uh, the uh, attribute name, and into that only we will be giving this uh, data size and data uh, data type. Correct. Yeah. yeah, got it. Right now we are fixing it. Whenever I'm using C H A R in bracket, I'm putting some numbers. Every character or every word that you are going to store in that particular column is going to take this much of the size what you are writing in the brackets. You cannot store more than that. That is for sure. I cannot store Jackson in this particular character 5. I can store only those characters or only those symbols which are until 5. Until 5. I am not saying only 2, 5. Until 5. But the storage will be 5 bytes for every word. <clears throat> now to fix that. There is one more character type which is variable character and to write it we write it var char. Again in this the storage is variable. If I am writing var char 5 and now if I am storing James length is 5 size is also 5 but now if I am storing Bob length is 3 the size will also be 3. Now you will ask if we can write everything in var char why do we need to use character then right. Because there is a reason why we use character. <clears throat> the maximum size that character can hold is 255. That means till 255 symbols. And varchar can store up to 65,535 symbols in one row of that particular data. But character works 50% faster than the varchar. Varchar is a lot more responsive to the data value inserted. I'll give you the example. If I open up my Excel file. Now, can you tell me how many characters are there in item code? Three. And every row or every character that you are going to put or every new item you're going to put, you know that it will be only for three symbols. Correct? So, instead of putting item underscore code as varchar three, we should be putting it item underscore code as character 3 because character will work 50 times faster than the varchar. Sorry, not char char, it's varchar. But storage is going to be same. If I use item code varchar 3 or item code character 3 because every word is of 3 symbols only. So it is going to take 3 bytes itself. Make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now there is a question to you. Let's suppose there is a field known as password where user will enter the password and then it will match with the database. Now the condition for your password is it should be of maximum 10 characters. What should you use as a data type for password? Is it a varchar 10 or character 10? It could be varchar 10. Correct. Why? <clears throat> because, because password can are... be four letters also. Yeah. We are not setting the minimum number of characters in password. Maximum yeah. is 10. So, varchar is a better option. Correct? Yeah. Cool. Now, there is one more data type which is enum or enumerate. Now, what is enumerate? It's a kind of data validation. I'll show you that in Excel first. Let's suppose I want to store the data of my uh, students. Right? First name. Then last underscore name and then gender. Now in this gender column, I only want someone to add either M or F. I don't want them to write male or other or female. I want it to be M or F only. If there is any value apart from M or F, there should be an error. We can do the same thing in Excel also. How? We can go to the data tab. There is the data validation. We'll select a list option and then we'll write M comma F. I press OK. Now, if I enter M, it will allow me. But if I enter anything apart from M or F, 
it will give me an error. The value does not match the data validation. So that is exactly what we can do with enumerate. This is how we will do enum in the brackets m comma f. If there are multiple characters, we can do that also m comma f comma o or comma n a. Whatever you want, we can do that. Is it clear? Yes. So whenever you want to add string data types, you will be writing character, varchar or enum. Any other idea why should we use enum? We could have used character one also. It's a kind of data validation. That's it. Because sometimes I want my clean data to be there. I don't want someone to be writing M, small m, you know, the capital M or then M A L E. I want it to be M and F because I know this is how my data will be. So while designing it, sometimes we want only particular options in that particular column, then we can use enum. Okay. Now next are integers. Now what are integers? Uh, sorry for interruption. Mm -hmm. uh, the care and var care. So here, for example, the memory it will take as five itself, right? For character, for every word, it is going to take five bytes, correct? Okay. So as though my character is like three word, for example, A B C, but right. still one more. So may I know like in, in uh, like it does that make any difference? Like well, uh, uh, like in in a, in a output page? Yes, I'll tell you the reason. See, it is going to take some storage now uh -huh. your data is not going to be of 100 rows or 200 rows exactly your data will be of millions of rows and then if you calculate that two bytes multiply by millions of rows the size of that table will be very huge and whenever you run a query that query is going to take a lot of time to go ahead and fetch the data for you mm, yeah, yeah. so the Modern. best practices is you need to make sure that your data and your table is best optimized Best optimized. So what does that mean? That means it should be only having that much minimum storage. He honi chahiye. There should be not maximum storage into it. For example, if I'm using character five and I'm using a word of three words, four words or five words, right? Mm -hmm. Then I am over utilizing my storage. If I would have used varchar, definitely the size of my data should be less. So my mm -hmm. table is not optimized. Yes. Right, optimum utilization of the resources available. That is what I meant by choosing the correct data type very, very wisely. 